On Saturdays in the fall, this place is normally filled with tens of thousands of screaming fans. But what about the other 300 some odd days? This is Scott Gann with the Bold Cities Project. In this video, we'll be talking about Ben Hill Griffin Stadium and the impact that it has on the surrounding campus and community. Stadiums in general may be one of the most inefficient structures of all time. Depending on how the governing organization runs the facility, they may hold eight to 10 events per year and sit vacant for the rest. While the economics of stadiums is a whole nother topic on its own, the current usage of Ben Hill Griffin Stadium gets us thinking about the versatility that spaces like stadiums can have. Located in the middle of an historic campus, it stands tall as a landmark for the city and the state as the largest stadium in Florida. The key for the university to activate the stadium when the football team isn't playing is to simply open it up to the public, offering many different uses. These include office space, a site for campus tours, study space enabled by offering Wi-Fi, and a club area which can be rented out. Concerts and other events are also held intermittently. University of Florida has also recently begun testing students and faculty for COVID-19 and administering vaccines for the virus out of the facility. But the most common use of the stadium throughout the year is for exercise. The infamous stadiums involve running up and down the stairs. Seems easy enough until you actually try it for yourself. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is a great case study for making the most of a space in an urban context. What do you think? Could a stadium in your area be made more available to the public? Please share your thoughts in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks. Yeah.